Hello and welcome. My name is Michelle. I am your Emotional Resilience Coach and today I'm going to answer a question that I get quite a lot and that is Michelle when I'm learning to sit with my emotions, when I'm learning to be, when I'm learning to process and I'm learning to just lean into what there is, what comes up for me first and foremost is pain. And there's just so much pain and what happens is our brains default our brains shut down and our brains suppress and it goes to what it knows it goes back to just push it all down don't deal with it ignore it it'll go away focus on other things distract myself do whatever it is that we normally do so that we don't have to feel it but the pain doesn't go anywhere it just stays there under the surface all the time ready and waiting for you to acknowledge it. It's a process that we can't skip. We can't ignore the pain. The pain is what will come out. So if you're used to numbing, I'm going to give you an example that really resonates with me that has to do with the cold. So let's say you are outside and you're out and about and it is the coldest, coldest day you can imagine. And your extremities, your hands, your feet, they are becoming numb. It's so cold, you can feel it to your bones. Your knuckles are achy and stiff. You just can't bend your hands right. You just, doesn't matter how much you shake, you're not warming up. And it's just really, really an icy experience. And so eventually you lose all feeling and the tingling comes down and we're now feeling pretty numb, right? So we know what we have to do. We have to go inside and we need to warm up. And let's say you come inside, nice, warm, safe place. You go and you stand by the fire and the fire is what's going to warm you up and allow you to have feeling come into you again. But as you stand there and you put your hands by the fire, and I, I'm not sure how many of you have had this experience or you've seen this experience, but initially a person goes, right? That you can't, you, you're in pain because that heating experience, that warming experience, the thawing of the body is not pleasant. Initially, it's actually quite achy and it's quite painful, but we stand there anyway with our hands by the fire and we endure the pain we push through the pain because we know that once the heat has gone through and we start getting mobility in our joints again and we start warming up that we will start feeling better again and that we will not have that achy numb tingling feeling anymore uh, we have to move through it to get to the warmth and it's the same thing it's the same thing with our emotions in order for us to really feel we're going to have to go through the hard. You're so used to numbing and you're so used to suppressing, ignoring, not being with it, that when you do start to sit with it, when you do start to open yourself to the experience, it can be terrifying because often what comes up first is the pain. So what we want to do is we want to default and shut down, suppress, ignore, distract, whatever it is we need to do to not have to focus with it. But what I want you to do is I want you to really coach yourself through it as if you've just come in from a storm. You've just come in from the cold and you know that standing by this fire is going to feel uncomfortable. There's going to be some pain, but you know that the fire is what is going to help you. It's what's going to warm you. So you endure it. You stand by the fire as you heat up, as you warm up, as the numbness leaves you, you stay there. So this is the same thing that you want to do with your emotions. As it comes up for you, I just want you to picture a fire, right? Close your eyes and picture that you're sitting by a hearth and it's just this warmth that envelops you and it's not necessarily comfortable. In fact, it's most likely very uncomfortable, but we're going to sit with it. We're going to sit with the discomfort and we're going to feel the pain, we're going to feel the hard, the difficult, the things that we don't want to feel because by allowing ourselves to feel it, by allowing ourselves to experience it, we are acknowledging it, we are honoring it and we're giving it the space to dissipate, to move through, 
so that the other emotions can come through too. Because just as you have blocked yourself off from the emotions that you don't want, the uncomfortable emotions, you've also blocked yourself off from the emotions that you do want. The joy, the love, the happiness, all the emotions that you are hoping to have through numbing, you're not getting there either, right? You're blocking yourself off from all of it. And just think of a fire, just think of yourself thawing out and this is something that you're going to have to do regularly. It's going to take practice because chances are there's so much that's just bubbling under the surface, so much just sitting underneath there waiting to come up and it will come up in waves and as it comes up lean into it, close your eyes and picture that you're sitting next to a fire. This is a refining process. The fire is refining me, it's warming me, it's allowing the numb tingling feeling to leave and I'm going to get through this and on the other side I'm going to feel the things that I, I want to, that I'm looking forward to feeling. All right, let me know if this works for you. Give it a try, come back, come see me on the Emotional Resilience Coaching page on Instagram. Come say hi to me there. Uh, you can leave me any questions you may have there, direct message me uh, in the comments or in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts, let me know your, what you're thinking, let me know if there are any questions that you need answered. Ask me and I will come straight here and give you my thoughts. Okay, you have an incredible day. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, the notifications button. And as always, have a most empowered day.